All right, so this is the second video looking at uh, the SQL DF package. Just going to show a little bit of extra stuff that it can do. To, to do that, we're going to create ourselves another little uh, data set. So, um, oh, what have I got there? Var1. Um, just going to make myself a little dummy data set. So, A, um, A, whoops, A, B, C, and C, uh, var2, uh, why not C1, 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, var3, we're just going to make uh, C of A, 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 B, C, var4 is going to be C, of two, two, one, two, one, and finally var five. Let's make that uh, another string variable. Um, B, B, C, whoops, C, D, E. Um, and then we're just going to create a, a data set with all of that. So example is data dot frame var one var2, var3, var4, and var5. And now if we just submit all that, and let's just check what we got. Yeah, we've got a very simple data set there. Uh, five five uh, observations, uh, five variables with, with some, uh, some rows that are the same. And uh, this is something that SQL is very good at. And, uh, it, it lets you to get rid of uh, distinct things. So, for example, SQL DF. If we say select um, distinct everything from example. Um, oops, I haven't. I haven't. So I need to require SQL DF. And now, if we run that. If we keep an eye on that data set up there, it's only taken rows that um, that are indeed distinct. And so if you look there, the first and the second row, they're actually repetitions. So a little bit of SQL distinct um, gets rid of all of that, which is very handy. We can also SQL DF. Um, we can uh, use a particular where function, so select um, Everything from example where uh, var two less than or equals var uh, four, and if we run that, um, so var two is got to be less than var four. If we look back up here, that means we didn't want the fifth uh, row. We didn't want the c two c, which we we don't have. Um, you can sort things. And again, I'm, I'm actually just teaching a bit of SQL code here, but you can sort things with SQL DF, which is quite handy. So um, select um, distinct, you might as well select distinct everything from example order by var 1. And I've got AB. Uh, CC, they ordered by um, var1, we could order them by var2, or um, maybe let's order them by var4, they had something slightly different. Okay, and then finally, uh, we can get nice aggregation of statistics using SQLDF. So SQLDF, um, let's say select the average of var2, as and this is where we call it something. So average um, of var two from example. If we run that, we're just getting the average of var two, right? That's what we asked it for. So it's calculated the average of var two from our original data set. Um, but we can modify that um, to say group by var one. And if we get that, we've got the average of var two based on var one. We can include var1 in there as well. And so we've got those averages. Okay, 
So that's some very basic, uh, well, a little bit further SQL that we can do in R.